Hi, I'm Laura Bessarati, and in this short video, I'm going to take you through some of the key features of our international trading platform, from how to log in and transfer funds into your account, to placing a trade and checking contract notes and statements, you'll learn everything you need to help you get started. Before we begin though, one of the differences in using our upgraded international platform is that you must have a Commonwealth Direct Investment Account, also known as a CDIA, linked as your settlement account. If you don't have a CDIA, you can apply for one via the Offers and Apply button by selecting Applications from the left-hand side menu. Once you've logged into your Comsec account, the first step in being ready to trade via the international platform is to move Aussie dollars from your linked CDIA account into your Comsec International Shares account. To do this, click on Portfolio from the top menu bar of the Comsec website. The Portfolio page will list all of your Comsec accounts. Once you have located your International Shares account, click on the Transfer Funds button on the right hand side of your screen. Once the funds are available in your linked CDIA account, you can then transfer funds to your international wallet so you can place a trade. To do this, select the Accounts button from the sub-menu bar and then select your International Shares account from the drop-down menu. You will also see your transferable funds, which is the Australian dollar balance in your international wallet that you have available to transfer out to your linked CDIA account. Your linked settlement account's available balance will be shown to you. Enter the amount you wish to deposit up to the amount of transferable funds you have available and a description for the transfer. Then press review. If the details are correct, submit your transfer request by clicking transfer. Your deposit should instantly move into the international trading platform ready for you to trade straight away. We're now ready to place a trade. To do this, you'll first need to select Launch Platform, which you can locate beside your International Shares account on the portfolio page. You'll then be taken to the home page, which will allow you to access a range of tools and features on offer. These include the main menu bar, which allows you to navigate through the platform and access the portfolio, trade, research, and performance and reports tab. You can also view the total balance of your portfolio, including securities and cash, which will be displayed in the Aussie dollar equivalent amount. You can also view your funds available for withdrawal, which is displayed as cash, the funds available to trade, shown as buying power, and any dividends pending payout after the ex-dividend date has passed. There's also a customizable dashboard that allows you to insert widgets of your choosing, ranging from watch list, trades, market overview, and more. And finally, there's a quick navigation to open an order ticket if you already know the details of the order you want to place. Once there, you can either select the trade button on the right hand side of your screen or choose trade from the main menu bar. Once you click on trade, a drop down box will appear to reveal the following options. One, order ticket, where you can place an order into the market. Two, Orders and Trades, where you can review your open, cancelled, executed, and partially executed orders. And three, Closed Positions, where you can sell all or a percentage of your portfolio down. Let's firstly look at placing a trade by clicking on Order Ticket. Once here, you can search for Company Symbol or Company Name and select Buy Order or Sell Order. Then choose the stock you want to trade. Let's try a buy order. You'll need to provide the quantity or value depending on the underlying securities denominated currency. Next up is the order type. There are seven to choose from, including a limit order to be executed at or better than a specified price. A mid price order designed to split the difference between the bid and ask prices and fill at the midpoint of the best available bid and offer price. A market order to be executed at the best available market price. A stop order to be executed at the best available market price if the market reaches a specific price. A stop limit order that is executed at a specific price or better after a stop price has been reached. 
Once the stop is triggered, the order will become a limit order, a market on close order that is scheduled to trade at the close at the best available market price. And finally, a limit on close order that is scheduled to trade on the close at or better than a specified price. Once you've selected the order type, you can now choose an expiry period, day only for an international shares account. The next step, attach orders, is optional. If you'd like to use these conditional order types, select profit taker or stop loss. If not, you can leave these unticked. Once you're ready, select preview to check everything is correct, then select transmit order. In certain applicable markets, you may need to trade in minimum lot sizes. These lot sizes can vary depending on the exchange and the security traded. In general, a lot size is the minimum number of units that can be traded, and for markets with lot size trading restrictions, all orders must be a multiple of the lot size to be accepted. To help you with lot sizes, the order ticket will default to one standard lot size for the relevant market. But remember, not all markets have lot size restrictions. Now let's move on to how you can review open orders and executed trades. The orders and trades page allows you to view your open orders and your completed trades that may have been executed or canceled. Firstly, navigate to trade and select orders and trades. You can view your orders, which may be unfilled, partially or fully executed. The action section will state whether it's a buy or sell order. Filled remain shows how many of your units have executed and how many have not. Status provides an update on the status of your order. And price shows the price at which your order has executed. If you want to amend or cancel the order, you can click the three dots above order ID. Finally, you can view your completed trades which may have executed, expired or cancelled. After your trade has been executed, you'll be able to access the trade confirmation through the Performance and Reports tab. Click on Statements and then Trade Confirmation. You'll either be able to view by a specific date or a date range. To see the statement on the screen, select View or click Download to open a PDF version. If you'd like to learn more, please visit www.comsec.com.au forward slash international, where you can find our international shares client guide. That wraps up our tutorial on how to use the upgraded Comsec International platform. We hope you found this video useful and look forward to helping you on your international share investing journey.